hey guys welcome back to our channel it's a gofani lungu back with another reaction video if you're new welcome if you're not welcome back thank you for 21,000 subscribers you guys are the best keep subscribing watching liking commenting sharing everything that you guys do never goes unnoticed hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed find us on facebook and instagram as funny and jesse head there say hi we'll say hi back our vlogging channel funny and jesse 2.0 head there subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out so today i'm going to be reacting to ami did that answer jesus is the son of god and the prophecy in sun so without wasting time let's get into the video in which you uh, christianity and islam were discussed now i recall that on that show you had said that you are you don't want to hear what paul said or the apostle said And um, you have been said on the show that Jesus was not the Son of God. Now, I would like to hear your comment on two portions of Scripture where Jesus was speaking. Uh, he asked his apostles, his disciples, Who do men say that I am, I the Son of Man am? And then he says, And who does the, the, the you say? That I am. So Peter stood up and said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And then Jesus said to him, Flesh and blood has not revealed that to you, but my Father which art in heaven. That is the one portion. The other portion is on the question whether God is one. Uh, the Christian concept of that versus the wisdom concept. Uh, Jesus asked, was asked, what is the most important commandment? And then he answered, he said, the Lord your God is one, and you must love the Lord with all your heart and so on. And then he saw further to the heart of the man who was asking him the question. And then he asked him a question. He said, uh, who would the, the Christ be? Whose son would he be? And then they said, well, the son of David. So he said, but how is it then that he is to be the son of David? That in the Psalms, David called him Lord when he said, The Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I have made your enemies. Uh, and of course we get that from Psalm 2 where uh, we see that the, the Lord says to his son, sit at my right hand and so on. If you could just answer that. That was to Mr. Dina, yes. And yeah. it was to me. That's to you. <laughs> now, the reason why I have to make double issue of one, because the references that were made, were made by Brother Gary Miller, I had not spoken about the sonship and all that. They were other maybe the names, thinking that his name is D. Darren, I'm Gary Miller. <laughs> that was the reason. This guy. <laughs> right. 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 Or you re now, this expression made by Peter, when Jesus asked, he said, who do you think I am? He said, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. Now, this expression, son of God, what does it mean? You see, this is not the time to debate, but I will give you an explanation since it's a question. Otherwise, I'm going to ask you and we're going to lengthen this meeting. And we won't finish even till, until 12. Son of God, what did it mean to the Jew? Did it mean that God begot a son? How many sons does God have? We are asking our Christian brethren, how many sons has he got? And you'll get the answer, one. I says, it's unfortunate you don't know your Bible. See, God, in the, in the, in the Gospel of St. Luke, Chapter 3, you read there the genealogy of Jesus, and it says, And Adam, the son of God. So was Adam the son of God? He must be. Then Jesus Christ, he said, says, All the good people, as, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, are the sons of God. Means every Tom, Dick, and Harry, if you follow the will and plan of God, he is a godly person. In the language of the Jew, he is a son of God. Then you read, from the book of Genesis, chapter 6, verse 3, verse three it says, And the sons of God, sins from hot, 
and the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair and they took them to wife all that they chose. How many did he have? Many. And when the sons of God, chapter, verse 6 now, chapter 6, came in unto the daughters of men and bore children to them, they became great men of old, men of renown. How many sons did he have? Many. In the book of Exodus, God says, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. In the book of Jeremiah, he said, Ephraim is my son, even my firstborn. In the book of Psalms, God speaks to David. He said, I will declare a decree unto thee that thou art my son. This day have I begotten thee. So, in the language of the Jew, in the idiom of the Jew, it means nothing more than a goodly person. As far as the Messiah is concerned, we say he was a Messiah. And Messiah doesn't mean God. Because God had Messiahs also by the tongues in the Bible. You find this word Messiah in Hebrew, you apply for Cyrus, a pagan. In the book of Isaiah, God says, It is I who have surnamed thee, that though thou hast not known me. Means you, a pagan, a mushrik, although you don't know me, I still call you Messiah. But the Christians have translated the word Messiah to anointed. See, wherever it suits them, they retain the word Messiah as Messiah. Whenever it suits them, they translate it as Christ. And whenever it suits them, they translate it as anointed. And you'll find this word Messiah applied to pots and pans and horns and everything. It's here in this book of mine. Christ in Islam. If you like, you can check it up. Dozens of places in the Bible where anything and everything is described as Christ Messiah but in your translations the translators have deceived the people by changing instead of retaining the word Messiah as Messiah they would put the word anointed so it, you think it's something else but in the original it's Messiah in the Greek it is Christos uh, what was the second question Psalm 110. oh Psalms yes now this prophecy if it is applied to Jesus, before he was born, this prophecy was made, that come, I will make you to sit on my right hand and make your enemies your footstool. Look, it never happened. Who are his enemies? Who are the enemies of Jesus? Anybody will tell you, the Jews. And they are strutting around in the Middle East, giving endless trouble to my people. They're making the American dog to wag, you know, the tail. The Israel is the tail and America is the dog. And whichever the tail wants, the American dog wags, moves around. It's a mighty power. Six million Jews are dictating what to do in the Middle East. That enemy of Jesus, look, where are they? Where is Jesus? Sitting on the right hand of God. Doing what? Waiting. For what? To make his enemy's footstool. Two thousand years. You get a hot pants, you know, you sit down one place. I'm sure some people sitting there now getting hot pants already. Two thousand years the poor man is sitting and waiting for what? His enemies to be made his footstool. I said, look, it doesn't apply to Jesus. It doesn't. Can't. Otherwise, it's a very pitiful sight. You, you agree, two thousand years a man is waiting for his enemies to be made his footstool and they're still strutting around in the world. Pitiful. I just love the way uh, Amit that answers people you know he tries his best to make you um, understand his explanation um, concerning Jesus is the son of God and the prophecy um, I wish he elaborated more about Psalms but uh, if it's a prophecy that happened before Jesus even while Jesus existed there's two two thousand ways to wait then I don't know. I just wish uh, Ami did that dedicated more time to that. Otherwise, the explanation of Jesus being the Son of God, he gives many examples in reference to the Bible, referring to how many times and how many people have been referenced as children or sons of God, you know. And I think anyone with logic would ask the question does it mean that God is really the father of these? So it I think I'll, I'll have to go with Ahmed's answer and say anyone godly was considered God's son, you know, and that's it. But if you've got, you know, if you've got your own explanation and your own proof and saying, no, this, I think otherwise, that's also possible, you know. 
it's very very possible to have a different perspective and an explanation for it otherwise let me know what you guys actually think about this video what do you think about Ami did that who I love very much I think this is becoming um Ami did that stan uh, channel let me know what you think down below if there's anything you want, me to, you want me to react to let me know down below just give me the name or the link and I'll be sure to check it out make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video